Hey everyone, I found another game in my Steam, in hidden in the depths and the bowels of my Steam library. It's called Starforge. I don't ever remember, I remember playing this once and it was really poorly optimized and I never played it again. I don't know why, it's not like I didn't like it, I was just got a frame rate of about three, I think, so I just didn't bother to play it. And I've just remembered, I've just found it again in the bowels of my Steam library, so I'm going to play it again. Let's see what's changed. I can't even remember what I did. I'm pretty sure I just dug a whole bunch of the start game. Whatever. I... Whatever. Just start, man. Well, hey! Apparently it's like... It's like... It's meant to be like a Minecrafty thing. Oh! Oh! Oh, would you look at that. I try and play and it crashes. Fantastic. Oh, it would be great if you could send the crash report to the developer. Oh! Oh, would it now? Oh, would that be helpful? Try again, shall we? Play. Right. Start game. Cool. No save games are found. You don't say. Right. Let's change the name of it. Blargle. Seed. Whiskers. Whatever. Yeah. Generate. Yep. Me. I, that'll do. Right, let's try again. Let's see if this works. Going organic. Great. Great. A vegan. Oh, it works now. Fantastic. Yeah, I'll, I'll have the tutorials. Cool. What the living piss do I have? Well, I know how to move. I know that. What the... Of course I'm naked. It's a survival game. I remember when I first played this, I was in a space suit. I was in a space suit the first time I played this. Why am I suddenly naked? And I had a gun when you started when I first played when I remember when I first played this, I remember having a gun and I remember having a space suit and you could build shit straight away as in bases and stuff. Oh, I'll collect some co but now now, it's basically another survival game. Woohoo! Let's look at this jump animation. Look at that. I must be on a planet with very low gravity. Right. Keep the enthusiasm going. Don't get... What is up with all of that shit in the sky? Oh, look at those overlapping textures. Phasing in and out. How beautiful. I'm guessing that's also what's happening in the sky. Great. So, this is version 1. It says one point something, so I'm guessing it's out of early access, and it's now officially, you know, a game. What in living fuckery is this? What are you? Oi! Don't you run away from me. Why does it keep... Every time I go to look at it, it just turns away from me. Why? What the hell is this? What is this? What's the, what is this? I threw something at okay. Open container. Okay. Do do I have these things or not? No, apparently not. Okay. I don't know what what did that do? Okay, that's a beacon, is it? Is it a be is it meant to be a beacon? Oh I have a drill. Can I drill this thing? Okay, so I did start with something, at least. I want to drill this thing in the ass. I know that sounds disturbing, but I'm going to drill this thing. Come here, I'm going to drill you. I want to drill you! I'm going to... Oh my god, I killed it. Now I can finally look at its face. I probably shouldn't have looked at its face. That thing's fucking disturbing. Get out of here. Fuck off. Right. Oh! Okay, I'm drilling. I'm drilling floor. This... This doesn't look good. I'm sorry, but I... I mean... The drilling thing, it doesn't... See, the great... The thing that I think was great, and why Minecraft started this craze of survival games, is because it was simplistic. Like... You could take blocks and place blocks. And that was it. 
you can take blocks and place blocks and build things you know and go deeper and get better things you know it was simple it made sense you know because it was so blocky you knew how to go somewhere you know and you had you, you could make you know easy to understand stairs and all that you can make easy to understand corridors and passageways but with you know this where, where's the easy to understand stuff like if you hit it in the wrong direction or at the wrong part of the you know at, at the wrong part of the rock shit like this can happen you know and for for what purpose all right so look let's let me jump out what is this this doesn't look like anything does it no of course it doesn't look like anything what because it's nothing it's absolute there's it's just this weird shapey thing and now if i try and use any of it does it place in a decent block no of course it doesn't so how are you meant to build a house or a place of residence like this like how how does that work as building a place of residence what like that's why minecraft worked it it was simplistic and it made sense anyone could understand oh oh so you come in here to build everything oh okay so you actually need to build individual blocks okay well that makes more sense but still that's annoying like I have to so basically I need to run back here every time I want to build something what is that red th well I just made the I just made the uh, icon for no man's sky pop up in the middle well, I'm gonna leave that that looks kind of cool why is that red thing over there? Is there a zoom key? No, of course there isn't. So yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to go find out what that red thing is, but... You know... Minecraft worked because everyone could understand it. It was simple, it was easy to use, but if you went further, you know, it was it was simple to get into, complex to master, you know, it was it had a decent level of complexity to it. But it was easy for everyone to pick up. I mean, my kids love playing it. They don't do anything. We just mess around in creative. But they love it. They understand it. They get what, you know, the game's trying to do. Whereas with this, like... I need to get all these equipment. And then I just need to run all the way over there. Just to build... Something. So, basically, I need to do this... I need to attack, I need to use a drill to punch wood out of this incredibly poorly textured tree. Okay, cool. So can I keep doing it? I can, right. So, you grab wood out of this poorly textured tree... Go all the way back to create a couple of wood blocks to start building a house to come all the way back and start it all over again. Like, at least in Minecraft, you could get, what, three blocks of wood could build you a cheap axe or something so you could quicker, you know, chop down trees quicker and start getting stone and all the good stuff straight away. What have I got? Wood and dirt. Alright, so we'll run all the way back. And I'll see how many blocks I can build with... Oh, can I just build it from my inventory? See, that would be handy if I can build straight from my inventory. Alright, cool. That works. Wood block. One. And I've got 30. Well, that's fantastic. Okay, so this... At least I don't need to run all the way back. So I apologize to the game for assuming that you can run or that you have to run all the way back to do it. You don't need to. You just have to apparently stand still whilst you're doing it. Okay, cool. Right. So I've got a wood block. Right, I've got 30 wood blocks. 
Now let's try and build what could... Why? What is making that shadow? There is nothing up there to make that shadow. Unless you're counting all, like, the clipping textures in the sky. Or, you know, lack of textures in the sky. As objects that... You, what? That creature just spawned out of midair. Cool. So, even though this game's at version 1... Now... Forgive me for saying this, but... You know, version 1... When I see a game at version 1... I usually assume it's at release point. You know, it's it's ready... It, it's ready to be sold as a full product. Now, I don't know whether anyone else sees it that way, but that's the way that I see it. You know, once it's at version 1, it's complete. Anything after version 1 is... You know... Anything after version 1 is just added. Added stuff. Okay? That's the way I see it. This isn't shouldn't be version one. It's well, it's it's missing a lot. I mean, it could be good. I don't see it. I don't see the fun potential in it personally. But like, I just ugh. I mean. This, like, you, yes, I'm building blocks. Like, I know I was complaining about blocks and how it was simplistic, you know, earlier, like how Minecraft were. And, you know, this is basically the same thing. Like, it's, I'm placing blocks. How many do I have left? None. Okay, so I need to get more. So, I placed blocks. So, okay. My original complaint of this game is invalid at this point. I probably should have explored a bit more before I started to criticise. Do forgive me for that, and I apologise to the game and the developers for that, but, you know, I just, there's not, you know, I, I still wouldn't, I'd still assume this is game is in early access, and if it's in early access, why is it version 1? Oh, it's good to see there's more than one of those red things around as well. But, why is it in early access? Like, why? Why... Isn't is it in early access? And if it is in early access, actually, why is it version one? Version one is not an early access. Version one is a release, in my mind. Yeah, I I just uh, it should be it it should. All right, well, I've built a thing. Is there anything else I can build? Can I build a bed? Or is there no such thing as beds in this game? I really don't know. Power, throwable, tools, utility, weapons. Well, that would be nice. A zip gun, a shotgun, rusty assault rifle, pistol. Well, let's start. What can I... What do I need? I need steel. Of course I do. Steel, steel, steel. Iron ore. Okay, what about armor? Oh, I can build armor. Well, let's build me some shoes. Okay, I have to wait. I built me some shoes. Build me some gloves. Well, I got shields and gloves. It's all right. Cool. There we got shoes and gloves. Fantastic. How do I attack? Okay, whatever then. Drill it is. Okay, so... What the hell is that? Holy crap, what's that? What is this? Oh my god, the alien life forms are attacking each other. Okay, yeah, that's kind of neat. But yeah, like... I just don't... I'm not a huge fan of these survival -y type games. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to, you know, tell everyone that I, I like these types of things. I don't. I, I was expecting this to be kind of like it was in when I, when I remember playing it first, you know, in the alpha. 
Yeah, like I, I was expecting it to be slightly more different because in, in the big, that's a big moon. Anyway, but it like when I first got it, it was like, it was being touted as this sort of like survivally thing where you drill and get things to build a base, and you build a base to protect yourselves from, you know. The constant attack of aliens, and you did it. It was multiple people doing it, and stuff. And you started off with guns and stuff to defend yourself whilst you were doing it. You know, so it, it sounded more action-packed as it as you know. It sounded like it was action-packed straight off the bat. Whereas this, this is your standard survival game rubbish with your head clipping through your torso every now and again. Like it's not. It's not what, you know, was originally advertised, I remember that much, but it, it doesn't do anything different that other survival games have, are already doing or have done. And, you know, it's not exactly, it doesn't exactly look good either, that's the problem. It's like, I could understand if it was, you know, if it looked amazing, like, Minecraft doesn't look amazing and it play but it plays well because it doesn't need to look amazing, you know? Oh I I can't even oh now I can start build oh whatever. I'm not playing this much longer anyway. Minecraft worked because it was just small and it was, you know, blocky and you know, it was cutesy and all that. It it was and it was basic and fun and everyone could understand it. Whereas with this doesn't have anything going for it. It doesn't have its own real art style. Everything looks like every other basic survival sci-fi type thing going on these days. It, it's... There's nothing setting this apart. That's what I'm going to leave... That's what I'm going to end this with. There's nothing setting this apart, and it's... I'm basically going to uninstall it as soon as I finish playing it. As soon as I finish this episode. There's nothing going for it. Maybe you'll say I didn't give it a good enough run. But, frankly, there's so many survival games out, of there, out there that, once you've played one, you've played them all. And there's nothing different about this one. There's no hook. There's no hook to this game. Like I thought there would be. Like, the whole constantly being attacked, start with guns and all that, and slowly build up a base so you can defend yourself against the bigger stuff that happens later on. There's none of that. Because you could build automated turrets as well in the Alpha. I remember that. Unless I'm remembering something different, but I'm pretty sure you could build like a whole bunch of stuff to protect yourself, and then, and then there's there's nothing. There, like, there, there's there's nothing here. What, there's nothing that this does differently. So we're gonna end on that. There's nothing that this does differently, and it it doesn't really even look all that pretty, to be brutally honest. Why did I why did I leave my Xbox thing on Windows 10 logged in? Ugh. I need to start learning to turn off all notifications and shit before I do this. But anyway, yeah, we're going to end it here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.